woman. Yay! After you prep your skin, uh, wear your foundation that you normally wear. The next step I would do is use a white cream stick, which is something that you can uh, find at Mac Pro. And I'm going to use a foundation brush. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start in the center of the face, kind of blend out, so it kind of brings the center as a focal area. You notice I'm not really doing on the sides. Just kind of buff it in because I want the tension to bring in the center of the face. So the next thing I'm going to use is feline eye pencil. I like to use this because you know it's really really dark and it's easy for me to be able to smudge it out. So start from the base near the lash line, blend up, winged it out a little bit. Use a blending brush. This is a 217. I'm just gonna softly kind of blur out the lines a little bit. So I'm just gonna finish it off. I'm gonna line the bottom. And the reason why I'm doing this because it's gonna really give you that feline look. More slanted up, like a flat brush. So it's easy for me to get it straight. So before I move on, I'm just going to add just a tab bit in the corner here. Straight down. Alright, so after you do that, the next thing I'm going to do is use a tiny eyeliner brush. You can use this um, 209 or you can use the 210. I'm going to be using this with black track to create some abstract or like, you know, hair-like. I'm going to trace this, kind of bring it up, up to my forehead, and what I'm pretty much doing is I'm just kind of creating abstract lines. Let's do some up here as well. So just do a couple more up in the forehead. in a little bit just kind of give it some dimension to the the line so it doesn't look so flat and I'm just gonna go back in and do a couple more single lines one right here and one on this side so after that I'm going to create the cat nose. Fill it in the middle first. Go around my nostrils and fill it in a little. And I'm going to use like a brown top and I'm just going to contour the bridge of my nose a little bit more. This creates a little bit more shadow to the nose. So instead of drawing whiskers, I'm actually going to do dots. I just kind of want to go uh, around the perimeter just a little bit, just to kind of blur out and create some shadow. I'm going to use a uh, soft brush around the corner. I don't want to mess up the design that I created, but I kind of want to create a little shadow. One of the last thing I'm going to do is uh, do the lip. And if you guys don't have black track, of course, use any black eyeliner, that's fine too. It works just as well. I'm going to bring out the line. Since this is a sexy cat, I'm going to use a red lip, Russian red. The last, last step is to put on lashes. This lash is Mac number 44. And the very last step I'm going to do is apply some mascara. So the lashes can be a little bit more dramatic.